Since it once again, brothers and sisters, I want to welcome you all to your channel, Natural Medicine. Yes, here we discuss about natural ways of treating diseases, simple and natural. Yes, how to treat diseases in a natural way. This is our purpose for this channel. Yes, uh, let kitchen be your farmers and nature be your hospital it's what we teach here so today i have a blessed help with me i have a blessed help yes i want to show you and share with you yes what to do with that help yes uh, i have a book with me here yes there is a book from ellen g white estate Yes, I believe that uh, woman, she was a prophetess of God. It's what I believe. So it's up to you. But to me, it's what I believe. So uh, as I practice my naturopathic uh, therapist, I take also my guidance from here. Yeah. Yes, there is a book. Uh, compiled uh, which have uh, a yes, statement about herbs. The book is called The Place of Herbs in Rational Therapy. Yes, there is a chapter uh, which called Learn to Treat Yourself. Yes. Uh, so it's PH144 13 paragraph 1. She says, the true method for healing the sick is to tell them of the herbs that grow for the benefit of men. I will repeat. The true method for healing the sick is to tell them of the herbs that grow for the benefit of men. She go forward. Scientists have attached the large names to these simple preparations, but true education will lead us to teach the sick that they need not call in a doctor anymore than they would call in a lawyer. They can themselves administer the simple herbs if necessary, if necessary. So scientists have attached the large names on these simple herbs. They take herbs from goddess farmers, from the jungle, from the orchards, from gardens, and they prepare these concoctions, these medicines, and they sell for us at expensive price. And poor people are dying because of the lack of knowledge. But knowledge is here. God's light is here to show us simple things which are attached to large names with the scientists of this, of this world in order for them to make man. So stay tuned. I have a simple help, but a powerful help, yes, which has been attached a large name. May God be with you. May God bless you. Stay tuned. Yes, let's go to the goddess farmers right now. So here we are in goddess farmers. So this is the herb which is called milk, 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 milk tissue, milk tissue. Yes, this is the herb. You can have a look. Yes. So this is goddess goddess remedies, goddess medicine. Yes. This is how big it can it can grow. Yes, this is how high it can go. It can reach almost my my size. Almost my size. So it's a good herb and a powerful herb you can use. Yes. 
So let me come closer so that you can you can see it clearly. Yes, milk tissue. Milk tissue it have got some some tissues, some tones. Yes, and this color which looks like milk. That's why it is called milk uh, tissue. Yes, milk tissue. Can you have a look? These are the flowers. Yes, these are the flowers. So you can even take uh, these seeds like this one. Uh, it is dried. So there is some seeds inside there. It's only that it is wet because of rain. Yes, here we go. So this is the the seed, the seed of of milk tissue. So you can take the seed and plant your milk tissue. You can get this plant even in the bush. In the bush you can find it. Yes. Uh, those who live in rural areas uh, at in the fields, at the back of your your crowd, you can have this herb. So we have it here, yes, inside our garden, inside our garden. Yes, yes. plant of of milk tissue here. I showed this last time, uh, the plantain. So. I am sharing with you this milk tissue, yes, yes, so you can find it in a small size or large plant like, like this, so this is milk tissue, so now you know and you see uh, what we are talking about, so now I can give you the detail of this plant. Stay tuned. Welcome back from Goddess Farmers. Yes, you saw Goddess Medicine there. Milk tissue. Yes, that is milk tissue. So, milk tissue was approved in 1986 as a treatment for liver diseases and it is widely used to treat alcoholic hepatitis. Yes, alcoholic fat, fat liver, liver cirrhosis, liver poisoning, and viral hepatitis, jaundice, yes. So, also for detoxification, milk tissue acts in a similar fashion to detoxify other synthetic chemicals that find their way into our bodies from astaminophen and alcohol to health metals and radiation. So this is a powerful help. Yes, this help it repairs cells and encourages uh, cell growth. Yes, uh, in our liver. Yes, you know that the liver is the only organ that can grow. Yes, repair cells and encourages uh, cell growth. Yes, the active ingredient or liver protecting compound in milk tissue is known as the silmarine. Silmarine, this substance which actually consists of a group of compounds. These compounds helps repair liver cell damage by alcohol and other toxic substances, by stimulating protein synthesis. It also prevents certain toxins from uh, setting, from getting inside. Silymarine encourage liver cell growth. It, ca it can reduce inflammation. It is it is potent antioxidant uh, effects. Yes, 
uh, benefits adrenal disorders, inflammatory bowel syndrome, treat cirrhosis, yes, increases bioflow, milk tissue with yes, some estrogen like effects that may stimulate the flow of breast milk. It may also be used to start late menstruation periods. Yes, milk tissue estrogen like effects may also have some usefulness for men with prostate cancer. It reduces also bad cholesterol from our from our body. Milk tissue is a must for cleansing and for anyone with any sort of liver dysfunction or exposure to toxins. Yes, a comprehensive review by the U.S. Agents for Healthcare Research and Quality, uh, and quality identified 16 scientific studies on the use of milk tissue for the treatment of various forms of liver diseases. So this this herb is more useful on liver diseases. Yes, it's so powerful. Yes, so you take uh, a teaspoon of the leaves and you make your tea uh, with one teaspoon of milk tissue, then you drink, yes, three times a day. Yes, it's work uh, like that. So this is how you do and it's how you treat diseases using the milk tissue. Yes, milk tissue is good for many diseases as we mentioned here. Yes. Uh, we talked about liver diseases, there are men, as alcoholic hepatitis, uh, liver poisoning, viral hepatitis, jaundice, it's good for detoxification, so it means it's good for your kidneys, yes. So please make use of that help, yes, at your own faith at your own faith yes do machandi sirwo anetwa hebu rinonz iro milk this you yes hebu iro marwona yes wanogara matawa ni kumamisha rino wani kwa magadeni rino mera pese pese wanogona urwana kumatanga wanogona urwana mumunda iro ro hebu jagata sana siweze liva Yes, my kidneys, mumuiri mune china, jese izozo milk tisi u rino klina, rino batsira kuripea maseuzi edu anenga demejika, rino rapa zakai, rino ita zakawanda, wanu wakawanda, warukuchema na my kidneys, wanu wakawanda warukuchema, ne maliva problems, yes, my poisons, Uyeza kare, really right, mapoizen za no afrikta maliva. Mvraya kuna ya kata mungu wa yezi uwa. Uwa, uwa mwano jika uwa yunenge ine poizen. Yes, muna anofane kuti inono poizen ya inono ataka liva. Saka garai mune milk tissue. Milk tissue is good for mapoizen. Yes, muna mapoizen inono ataka liva. Mkamunuisa milk tissue, yes, munu iye, muno gona kuseva, upenyu, kama kishenda uchipatara, muenda zenyu, but maita, first aid, inobatira, wamuacha watori na maari, kikunda uchipatara, wamuatori kure, uchipatara, wamuari kumamisha uku, imi wari kumaguta, mawata apa ripo, madata muinao, senderaya, amanisha maari, ziri kumamisha, zibatiri kani, Zibatiri kani, 20 kilometers, kuna bata bus stop. Sandi nyore, paka sungwa mombe. Muna arumane nyoka, muna amwa poison. Nushika, tarasikiwa, 
new pain. Saka, let's save life is Mari Vachiti Batsira. So stay tuned. May God be with you. May God bless you all.